we are going to learn about the dual concept in accounting. As the name suggests, it's a pretty straightforward and a simple concept. Although sometimes it's the simplest of the things that might be the most confusing ones. Since the concepts are not interlinked to each other to a very great extent, we'll go through them one by one. I'll make separate videos for each concept so that you can jump right into the one you want to learn. Let's begin. Dual concept, also known as duality. Let's take an example to understand it. Suppose you buy a car from your friend for the company. Let's name your company Mrs. Calvin for now. You both have decided on a final price of rupees 50,000. You can take delivery of the car only after you pay at least rupees 10,000 for it as an initial amount. And rest 40,000 can be paid later. Therefore, in total, you paid rupees 10,000 and 40,000 is outstanding. Now, if you want to record this transaction in the books of accounts of your company, the car is an increase of 50,000 in the assets and a payment of rupees 10,000 is a decrease in your assets. Therefore, the net increase of your assets is rupees 40,000. At the same time, you have an increase in your liabilities of rupees 40,000. That is, creditor of rupees 40,000. This means that in accounting, every transaction has two equal effects. In simpler terms, the duality concept states that amount owed and the assets owned are always equal. Hence, always maintaining the equality in the books of accounts. And that's the dual concept. If you still have questions related to what I've just explained, feel free to drop them into the comment section and I will try to answer them. Thanks for watching.